Hi. In this uh, video, we are going to show you how to create templates in Gmail and how you can use this template as automatic reply to certain conditions of email that you receive okay, in your inbox. So the first part of our video is to how to create a template. So if you go to compose your um, Gmail, you will see that there's this dot 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 found on the lower portion, the one that says more options, and you will see some settings or some tools that you can use. Now this is where templates is supposed to be found. However, if it is not there, then you simply have to change the settings of your Gmail account. So back in your Gmail, you have to go to the settings or the gear icon found on the upper right portion and then go to see all settings. Once you go to the settings of your Gmail, you will see several options that you can manipulate in Google Sheets. So for this one, we have to go to the advanced okay, tab. In the advanced tab, you should see that you have this second option, the one that says templates, and you have to just click enable and then scroll down to save the changes. So now your Gmail will load. And if we go back to the compose window, you will see that the templates tab is already there. So right now, I do not have any template okay, for my uh, Gmail account. So I will create one. So let's say that I will maximize this first. Let's say that I want this to be my response when I receive a certain email from someone. So let's say, hi, this is acknowledged. Please wait for the report within 24 hours. So this is just an example. Thank you. And then we're going to put in a subject, and this will be like a generic subject. This will be the name of the, the template. So let's say within 24 hours. And then instead of sending this draft, we will go to the more options and templates. And then we're going to save the draft as template. So we'll click here, save as new template. And you see that we have the subject okay, as our name. You can also change it here if you need to. But for now, I will click save. And now I have one template. I will close this one. So that if I click compose, and I want that response, I just have to click to uh, click on the dot, 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 go to templates, and you will see that I now have a template here that I could click, and my email will be automatically filled out. So I'll remove that. So that's one way to use a template. So let's say I have this response over here, or this email, and I want to reply to it. And then I will use a template. Okay, and now you have the template here. So templates can also be used as automatic response. So let's say that if I receive a certain email from someone, then I will send a templated reply to that person. Take note that this is not exactly the same as an out of office, though you can make it as an out of office. For the out of office, I will have a different video for that. But for now, I just want to create a rule wherein if ever I receive an email from someone, then I will send that template as a response. So for that, I have to click on the gear icon once more, and then click the See All Settings. Under See All Settings, you should see there Filters and Blocked Addresses. If you are more familiar with Outlook, this is similar to writing rules. So here, I have no filter yet. I will create a new filter. And now, the first thing that I have to do is set a condition as to when this filter will be triggered. So let's say that I want OK, 
okay to ensure that I only receive an e when I receive an email from this person and one of the words in the email says daily report then these are going to be the conditions that I have if these conditions are satisfied then I will create a filter which will then ask you what are you going to do to that email if it's received do you want to, to skip it and send it to the archive do you want to make put a star on it do you want to apply a label for that do you want to automatically forward it do you want to automatically delete it and so on in our case what we want to happen is to send an automatic response whenever that condition or those conditions are satisfied so for that, I'm going to check send template. And take note that there's a note here that old emails will not receive a templated response. That just makes sense, right? Because I, the, uh, our Gmail account will only send an email moving forward, not for the emails that we've already received that has that condition. So I drop down here to choose a template. And then as you can see, I have my one and only template here and then create filter. So moving forward, if I receive an email that satisfies the condition, it's from this email and it contains this word, then Gmail will automatically send that response. Take note that if ever you made mistakes in creating your filters or your rules, you can simply go to edit, still under that uh, same tab, and you will see that you can modify the conditions or even modify the action that will be performed. You could also delete it from that point. Take note as well that you can edit a template okay, by going to the templates and then click the template and save it again okay, as your draft. So you have to save it as a new template in order to create a version of your response. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one.